All right, just going to be starting in a minute or two here. We've got a couple of people coming in late. Uh, if you're already in the room, uh, if you could just uh, basically make a note in the chat box that you can um, hear me uh, just to make sure before we get going, we've got good audio. So uh, when you're going live, no, no, no one knows what can happen here. So I'm um, just checking with my team to make sure um, that our audio is good. And what I'm going to do is suppress some of the, the questions here as we get into this. Um, but this will be a uh, somewhat of an interactive webinar here as we get going here. Um, just waiting for another second or two for more people to, uh, that are running a few minutes late. And we will go in here. And you're looking at probably the next 35 to 40 minutes um, once we get rolling here. So uh, without any further delay here, we're going to hop in in another second. Um, if one or two more people can just confirm that um, the sound is good. So Timothy, Jennifer, Katie, Chadwick, thank you very much uh, for checking that. You never know when you go live on the internet what's going to happen here. So we're going to hop in in just a second. All right. Well, welcome to the webinar. So um, we're going to be talking about the next shift in technology and um, basically where my opinion, where the next uh, shift in conversational marketing is going. And um, as we always do in simple growth fashion, we are going to go in and pay it forward and give you three um, solid knowledge bombs, how to actually go out and execute some of the stuff in your business. And if you stick around to the end of the webinar, we're going to have a special offer um, for you. And just the people that are on this webinar live are going to be available for that discount. So if you stick around to the end, um, if this is something you want to do, uh, we have a product that we can, we're going to be offering that um, is going to have a huge discount just for the, the people watching this as well. So um Without any further delay, it looks like you can hear us. We are going to dive in. And if you have any comments or questions, feel long. Uh, this isn't just a one-sided affair today. So I want to um, basically have that conversation with you folks uh, as we go into this so we can have a conversation that we go. So here we go. So first thing I want to do is ask you to turn up your speakers, make sure as we dive into this, uh, this is going to be a fun event and we're going to be a lot of learning and we're going to learn how to go out and dominate your market and take time back from your business. And before I get into the actual uh, nuts and bolts of it, fasten your seatbelt, folks, because I've got a little video here as a preview of what we're getting into and some of the background of what's happened in my business and how we have helped well over 300 service businesses do the same. In our area um, but the problem is how do we actually go out and get to work so in my situation the stunning realization is I had no choice if I wanted to succeed in business through high school college and afterwards that I really needed to hit the street and um, start knocking on doors and this was a sun up to sundown situation with absolute frustration some days we won some days we lost but at the end of the day it revolved around me and if that wasn't enough I'd have to actually go out and do all the work myself thereafter so when I wasn't out mowing grass cutting lawns weed whacking um, I was hitting the street again once again to fill those routes and get more customers so walking up to uh, strangers homes knocking on doors giving estimates and honestly learning the whole entire business process um, as it went on, learning from some things we got lucky to get enough right and some things um, through failure. So as we continue to go in and build and scale this business to a million and well beyond, um, I realized that there really needed to be a better way. But before I could actually discover the better way, um, I had to get up in the morning before the sun and get all the trucks out in um, the field, get the, the trucks loaded. Um, actually go out and find and recruit and train employees and in the early years I had no idea how to do that so it was continued frustration um, and in addition to that growing a sales base to be able to afford these people and keep them busy and put food on the table for their families and mine was a huge stress then came additional seasons such as the winter in the upper, upper uh, northeast and that was just an absolute grind sometimes 24, 36 hours straight, sitting in the truck at odd hours, calling employees and subcontractors and hoping they answer the phone, trying to actually to learn how to run a business in a successful way um, was enough of a burden, but to try to figure out how to keep a life work balance, grow a business to a million and beyond as we all want to do, and still have a life in your business and be successful was the biggest challenge. So after 
approximately 12 to 15 years in the business, I discovered automations. And one of the biggest turning points of automations was to create a predictable system that did not revolve around me and close sales day in and day out. And sometimes while I was still on the truck, just like here, plowing snow, the system worked for me day in and day out and created sales processes with predictable systems. So what I'm about to dive in and show you today is the solution that helped me take my life back from my business. Well, at least a part of it, automated estimating through Facebook Messenger bots. And as we're diving in it, this is just a little comical look of Bill Murray here for ABC Lawn Care. But as you're diving in, what happens here is your potential consumer can basically put in their address 24 hours, seven days a week, whenever they're ready to buy. And the new way that consumers buy in conversational marketing is people want to buy when they're ready to buy, not when it's convenient for you and your business. So as they're entering their address in, they're dropping their zip code in. We are addressing the new shift in buying technology. And in our company, we figured out how to automate estimating for lawn mowing, lawn rolling, fertilization, weed control, dethatching, mulching, snow removal, and much, much more. And what this allowed us to do is just as you can see on the screen here, create property specific prices that drove information from Zillow square footage of either the gross lot square footage or the home square footage in the home cleaning industry. So this allows you to go in and close sales literally while you're in the field or sleeping, capture their phone number, capture their email, and make it a seamless sales process. And by doing this, this is just part of my journey of driving and pulling my life back from my business. And I think it's my moral obligation at this point to share this with the rest of the service industry. So I hope you're ready. I'm going to show you what happened on my journey through uh, 25 years in the service industry and how we've gone in and now helped over 300 people um, plus companies do this in their own business. And at the end of the day, we all get into a business and start a business to have the money and the finances that we want and spend time with our family and do the things that mean most to us. And in the early days, thank God we didn't have kids um, and this business did cause divorce, but after I've got remarried and it, um, it has recentered my focus, now I can have time with my kids, my family, and enjoy what's really important in my life, but still have the ability to hit the success and hit my goals through automated Facebook Messenger bot estimating as part of our automated system. So now when my consumer picks up their phone, I don't have to be on the other end. I can be out at the movies or the park with my kids or relaxing by the pool while the automation does the work. So buckle up, here we go. And then before we dive into this, I'm gonna show you how it's done. I'm gonna just let loose the three secrets of how to automate your business um, and get your life back from your business in the same time. All right, so calling all cleaning customers. I know that was more of a lawn care example, but rest assured this is built specifically for your industry. And after hanging out and working with some of the top industry heavyweights, such as Martha Woodward from Dusting Divas and QDS and Debbie Sardone of CBF, just to name a few, uh, we have a really good understanding of how the cleaning industry works and how this technology of conversational marketing and automation around lifecycle marketing can be um, done in your industry. So um, I want to give a proof of concept with full transparency in my service industry and business, how we did this. But now I'm going to show you how you can do this in your cleaning business, specifically right down to your weekly, bi-weekly cleans, top to bottom deluxe, after construction cleans, move in, move outs, whatever that is, this is going to go in and dive in exactly how a cleaning company uh, can do this in an automated fashion. So we're going to go in and, and look at the three simple secrets to kill the chaos while simultaneously exploding your sales on autopilot. A um, little background on myself, uh, Mike Callahan, obviously you've got a little background from the video there, but um, basically scaled a very successful lawn care business, reaching the top 7% of annual gross sales in the whole United States. So if you're wondering why would I listen to this guy over the next 20 to 30 minutes that are left, um, I want to give you a little background, at least some credibility if you haven't seen our videos. Uh, full 10 columnist for Lawn and Landscape Magazine, not necessarily talking about lawn care, but talking about business practice and systems, whether it's any type of service industry, whether it be lawn care 
or residential or commercial cleaning. Uh, we've automated well over 300 service businesses. Amongst those 300, I would say at least 40 to probably 45% of them have been cleaning businesses. So yes, this is going to be applicable, uh, but I don't want to be disingenuous. I want to show you where we came from and where we've gone with different cleaning industries. We are also certified partners with Service Autopilot, Infusionsoft, and um, agency partners with ManyChat. And that's the platform that we go in and build these automated Facebook Messenger bots on. Um, but before we do that, I want to give you a little background of where I cut my teeth. And I want to give you the three ways to automate your business. And then we'll dive into the uh, conversational messaging bots that tie right into the three core foundational things. Um, so if you're spending 35, 40 minutes with me here, I thought it was only my moral obligation to pay it forward, to give you something of free value uh, before we give you a special offer at the end. And I'm going to ask your permission at the end. So at the end of this, if you don't want to hear basically the special offer we're providing, uh, obviously I I'll give you that warning beforehand because this is more about teaching and giving value um, and then kind of paying it forward if you're spending the time with me. So uh, back in the day, it started out all with basically a truck, almost identical to this. I couldn't find it, but it all started with a truck and a dream uh, starting out freshman year in high school, hitting the pavement, as you saw in the video. Um, all the way through college, we had several crews out there. Um, but the main thing that happened is when you start a business, at least in my scenario, is no one tells you that you shouldn't create a business that revolves around the business owner as the single point of failure. Um, and that's exactly what I did inadvertently. So I really struggled to have a work-life balance. Um, and basically, it, it, this business absolutely um, destroyed my personal life at that point. Um, but everything changed in 2012. And what happened in 2012, um, if we're going to be completely honest and personal about it, is that business I had built around myself as the single point of failure ended up causing me to work literally 100 hour weeks, seven days a week, sun up to sun down, whether it was out pumping the sales, out in the field, managing um, employees, or putting out fires as we all do in our businesses. That business inevitably created a divorce in my personal life uh, where a girl I married in high school came home literally on Valentine's Day weekend and said, Mike, I'm done. Uh, your business runs your life and it's running our relationship. I'm out of here. Uh, so obviously that was a pivotal point in my life and I want to share that experience because a lot of business owners are in the same boat and that temptation to let that business run your life is there. I'm going to show you the three keys of how to automate your business and then tie conversational marketing in just like I did. So at this point in my life, it was rock bottom. I searched the internet for a solution to get my life back from my business. And what I found was lifestyle entrepreneurs. And those lifestyle entrepreneurs were literally working from a laptop and a Wi-Fi connection on the beaches of Thailand in Bali. I was in no um, disillusion that that probably wasn't going to happen for a service business, but I love the idea. And what I did is I jumped in and discovered automations and systems to go out and scale a business. Um, so what we did uh, literally is everything you're being look you're going to be looking at here was never built to resell or even share. This is my personal journey to take my life back from my business. And I basically had doubled my business in size the first year we automated and worked only half the hours. So it was a huge momentum and shift in my head. Um, and I was able to basically focus on the things that were important. Uh, obviously, in the first marriage, I was lucky we didn't have kids. Uh, that wasn't, uh, you know, it was devastating enough. But now that I have a family, uh, kids, I want to be there and be present. So if you find yourself getting into this trap or you're in that issue right now, um, I'm just going to give you the three key areas to take your life back from your business, how to automate it, and to scale to a million and beyond. And three main automation points are usually the growth hurdles to break that million mark and well beyond. So um, I'm going to pay it forward uh, on this video here and then show you how conversation marketing and bots will tie in and automate that even more. So uh, what am I exactly going to um, So I'm going to show you exactly what, what we did and why it worked. And then I'm going to show you how you can do it too over the next few minutes here. So first question I have for everybody watching is, do you want to grow your business fast or do you want a fully automated business that works for you? So uh, anybody that's watching, why don't you type in some answers? What are you guys looking for? Are you looking for a business that just grows fast? Or are you looking for a business that is fully automated? And as you're typing that in, I've got some really good news for you. 
where you can have both. So if you want to grow fast with an automated system, I'm going to show you and pr propose the question, what is required for this automated fast growth? Well, there's three things that are actually going in there. And, and Kate says both. So Kate, good news. I'm going to show you step-by-step, -step, lifting the hood up, exactly the three steps to automation success for fast growth and automated process and systems that are predictable. So step number one is sales, specifically a standardized sales system that can be delegated. And what is required to create the standardized sales system that can be delegated and still break that annual revenue of a million dollars and beyond, that goal that we all have when we first start out in business, or at least most of us do. Um, and if you're a smaller entrepreneur or solo entrepreneur that you don't have those aspirations, but you want to have a really good work-life balance with, with exceptional profits well above the industry average, you don't have to go out and create this behemoth um, that breaks that million dollars. These same steps are applicable in smaller um, solo or few employee businesses as well. And it's a scalable system. So um, if you're not looking to break that, don't worry. You don't have to hop off the webinar. This is going to be applicable to just about any size business. And you'll see why in a few minutes. So as we dive into this here, um, number one thing is an automated sale. So if you're working with Simple Growth and you've already seen the right hand side of the screen or you've already hired us to do this part don't worry there is something new here and i'm going to connect all the dots so on the right hand side of the screen i'm going to be talking about how we create an automated sales process that's delegatable and the new part here is on the left as you can see it those four boxes and what that is is conversational marketing so at callahan's lawn care and it's simple growth. We're constantly trying to go out and evolve and find out where that technology shift is and how consumer habits are changing and how they buy and when they want to buy and where they want to buy. And it's very similar to Amazon. People want to buy when they want to buy on their own time. And unfortunately, what most of us in the service industry right now are doing, and it still works and it's still applicable, is we're driving everybody to an online form to request an estimate if it's after hours. And what we're doing is telling the consumer when they fill that out right now is that's great. You're not that important to us. We'll get back to you when we open up. And obviously, most businesses can't have 24 seven uh, receptionists answering the phone and doing live quotes, at least in my business and businesses, we can't. But where conversational marketing is going to come in is through Facebook Messenger, where I'm going to challenge you is we are going to show you how to basically use a button or a widget on your a website or a QR code out on your cleaning vehicles or on different marketing pieces or a slide in on your website or Facebook paid advertising or organic traffic. So even if you're not using Facebook Messenger to its fullest yet, but you have traffic being driven to your website, this absolutely works. And it's a scalable system to get into conversational marketing and more things along social media. So Give number one is what does an automated system look like? So with the new shift, we want to be driving them and giving them the opportunity through social media or some buttons or slide ins um, on your website or a QR code, maybe on the back of your team shirt or one of your vehicles to drive them to conversational marketing piece. Once that happens, we are going to drive them through this flow chart, no matter what it may be. So um, if you bear with me, I'm going to actually break this down and show you exactly how your business can be automated. And this is exactly what we did to take my 100 hours a week down to three to five to literally an absentee owner of it 30 days at a pop. So first thing is a, uh, a business owner really needs to go out and um, when they're starting out, create a predictable sales system that's predictable. So the first thing we suggest doing, no matter your customer relationship management software, um, that you use. We use Service Autopilot, but it doesn't matter your platform and everything we're talking about today is CRM independent. So no matter whether you're using Service Autopilot, Jobber, Customer Factor, ZenMate, it doesn't matter. So this is going to be applicable to any CRM that you're looking at just to put some context to it. But what we're going to be doing here is we're going to have an estimate request on your website in addition to that Facebook Messenger slide in or bot. And when somebody fills out that form, we're going to automatically enter them into your customer relationships uh, management software, such as Service Autopilot. Or on the bottom, if they call your office, we're going to enter in pertinent information to get them in our sales funnel. The first thing we do here after that 
um, is we automatically email out a thing called a lead letter. And these are going to be the five or six reasons why your business is different and why people want to do business with you. In addition, when they came off the website, I use the analogy of imaginary little buckets. So if somebody's interested in, in a one-time deep clean versus a weekly or bi-weekly or every four-week clean, we can have a specific conversation. So maybe your deep clean goes in just as a deep clean would, and maybe we're cleaning off the shades with a microfiber versus a maintenance weekly or bi-weekly clean where we're using a feather duster. So we're going to be able to have a personalized but automated conversation around the services that they're interested in. That where it leads me into the next part here is before the estimate or same time as the estimate in this orange cell here, we're going to go out and create pre-estimate education. And that's exactly what's going to happen, like the difference between a top to bottom or a deep clean versus a, a reoccurring clean. We're going to explain how a professional does it themselves and it creates a higher perceived value. You are now the expert in that cleaning field. In addition, we really recommend in those marketing documents creating um, sales and price objection scripts. So two of the biggest commonly questioned asks we probably get is, do I need to be home to have the home clean? Is there certain insurance I should be carrying for the cleaner? Are these the questions that are bogging down your sales team? If they are, we put in um, information around this to create a shortened sales cycle and overcome those sales and price objections before they ever come up. So we've created a higher perceived value for higher prices and we've shortened the sales cycle through overcoming those price objections and sales objections up front. Next thing is we're going to go out and quote the estimates. Now, hopefully we're doing this right over the phone based on square footage in Zillow or grabbing some information. But the idea is once that estimate is submitted, if we don't close a sale on the phone, an automated estimate follow-up creates here. And we call this process 20 days to close right here. And what this does is it goes out through an automated series of emails and text messages and phone calls. Phone calls are going to come up in the form of a to-do in a call script. And it literally would say, call Mrs. Smith. It's been three days since we dropped off her top to bottom cleaning estimate. This is what to say. If she says the price is too high, we'd have some call and sales script objection. And then the most important part for this delegatable automated system is if she becomes a client, do this in your software. If she doesn't become a client, do this in your software. If she says, I'm not sure if I'm going to hire your cleaning service yet, um, do this in the software. So we've created a predictable system that works the same way day in and day out in your office or halfway across the world um, if you're using a virtual assistant. The next thing is obviously we hope we win the estimate. So right here, what we do is we automatically, without anything in the software, it automatically welcomes and wows them. So it automatically fires off this welcome email. It's going to merge in a PCI compliant credit card form to get that credit card on file if you want it and it acclimates in what to expect when working with your cleaning company. We're automatically doing a 30, 60, and 90 day follow-up for all reoccurring services. So we tackle those little issues before they become big issues. So maybe Mrs. Smith writes back, yep, they're doing a great job, but unfortunately the cleaning team is missing wiping down the master bath tiles occasionally. So it allows us to have a personalized but automated communication to make sure that the customer is happy. In addition, the automation should build some logic in there. If it's only a, say, move in cleaning, we only follow up once to make sure they're happy. And if you're wondering what happens if it's a one-time service, well, I'm going to get to the upsell on that because we want to make sure we get a reoccurring service to raise that client lifetime value. But hold with me. I'll be there in a minute. Um, next thing is we go in, and it sounds a little corny, but we create happy holidays. So we educate them around each holiday, um, New Year's Eve, Labor Day, Memorial Day and we wish them a happy holiday. This continues that nurture, and it gives us better email deliverability because we're having communication in their inbox that they're opening and engaging with, and that was part of the reason why we built this. The final thing is we did newsletters and mid-month promotions. So newsletters go out to everybody in your database, um, lead or client, and what we're doing is just educating what they should be doing in their home or potentially yard uh, the month in advance. So if we're near the holiday season, we may be educating proper techniques for fridge cleanouts or stove cleanouts. And if that's a service that we offer and we want to upsell, we have a one-liner down at the bottom. By the way, we're here to help with that service if you need it. So it's education with a soft upsell. And that's going out to everybody in your database. Now, in addition, mid-month, we've separated our leads and clients. And the reason why we've done this, we want to have specialized personal communication based on where they're at in the customer life cycle. So based on that, um, we can go out and send tips or promotions to our leads and clients. So maybe we have a lead 
um, that hasn't yet converted, but we've been nurturing them for six or seven months. We can go out and send maybe a 25% off your first top to bottom deluxe cleaning if you sign up for the reoccurring maintenance cleaning weekly or bi-weekly, whatever that is. But we're allowing us to have personalized but automated communications based on where they're at in the customer life cycle. Now, if we haven't won the estimate, we've lost the estimate. So predominantly what we do in the home cleaning industry, um, we do have some lawn care folks on here as well. So I'm, uh, I'll keep this at broad range, but um, this is mainly focused on the cleaning industry is what we do is we create a series of nurtures um, and reactivation. So we go out and say, if someone has signed up for a one-time clean, such as a deep clean or a move-in clean, within five to seven days of that, if they haven't booked a reoccurring cleaning, we go out and automatically upsell that cleaning service. Um, in addition, we may have a series of upsells as well. If there's certain services, we may want to upsell down the line. Um, so if they haven't, uh, if they bought that one-time service of move-in and they didn't automatically buy the upsell, we could circle back um, several months later and try to reactivate an estimate for a reoccurring cleaning or another deep clean, uh, if that's the case. So that's the overall idea. Automated, first of three steps to automate your business is a predictable automated sales system. And the next thing is employee system. So now we've got this sales machine that's pumping out sales. And what happened in my company is we literally grew so fast, we almost went out of business. We couldn't find enough employees to get the work done. So specifically, we had the standardized employee system that could be delegatable and predictable. Um, once again, if you're working with Simple Growth and already have our employee automations, um, don't turn the screen off because we kind of have the next shift that's going to happen with employees. So this is not built out, but I thought I would be really open and honest about where we're going with this. So as you can see on the left-hand side of the screen here, we just like our sales process, have a button, a QR code to slide in and the ability for paid or organic uh, Facebook posts and ads. And where we'd be driving this is if our consumers are deciding to engage with our bots as far as buying and purchasing, well, those people that are looking to be potential employees are probably having the same kind of habits of when and how they want to interact with a business for potential employment. So as we're developing this, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this now or later, but uh, we're in the process of developing the ability to take messenger bots and start to drive um, lead acquisition or new potential hire acquisition through these bots because that's communication where people are. So we want to be where they're at and be able to convert them into hopefully great team members. So as we're going and creating an automated employee system, the way I see this and what we do with Simple Gross Automations, um, kind of lifting the hood up and what we did at Callahan's is, like I said, we had so many, uh, so much work that we couldn't almost fulfill it. So we had to create almost a, a, a virtual sales pipeline for potential new employees. I'm going to show you how we actually did that. So, uh, and if you like what you're seeing here, put some comments in here. It's kind of lonely staring at the screen. But what we did here is we created a hosted landing page for Craigslist, Indeed, Facebook, wherever online we're looking for those employees. And we created an online office form. So if they came through um, online parts or they came through the office, we were able to capture them. But just that basic English um, application wasn't enough. And what we realized is we needed something in Spanish. So originally we went out with textbook Spanish application and no big surprise, it didn't convert that well. So we went back in um, and one of our actually our, our, our close cleaning friends down in New Jersey uh, was nice enough to actually put a street Spanish spin on it. So now we have our employee recruiting, training and onboarding forms and applications in English and street Spanish from um, online or in the office. Once they fill that out, we drop them into um, our customer relationship management software, which is service autopilot predominant. But I said all this is platform independent as well. Um, then we drive them through an online application process. We're going to make them jump through some virtual hoops and make sure they're a good fit. In New York, especially at certain points of my, my adventure here, um, if people applied for a job and got through the application process, that qualified them for more unemployment. So we wanted some way to just sort those folks out and buy the time back online before they got to us. But let's say Julie is our applicant. She gets through here. What happens now is a to-do or a task pops up in our software and says, hey, call Julie, set up the interview date and time. And what the automation now does is emails or text message Julie the week before and the day before the interview. Let's her know when to show up, where to show up, and if she needs to bring anything to the um, interview. And what we've had clients do is actually 
do exactly what we did at Callahan's. We inserted homework in here at the first communication to go down to the DMV to get a driver's abstract um, if she was needed a, a license to run that cleaning crew. So now she's got some skin in the game. Once we get to the actual interview, whether it's phone or in person here in this area up here, uh, what we're doing is uh, basically creating a standardized interviewing process. Four to five questions you ask every applicant. Obviously, you can have more. The idea is this populates, so no matter who's interviewing, it's a standardized process without bias. And the automation, the way we built it, actually um, triggers the person to select A, B, and C to rank the new applicant with interviewer's comments. And we've done is created a saved database um, in Service Autopilot when we built this out. And it was a save, uh, a searchable database that we've saved. So you can go and say, I want all my A applicants from the last 15 or 20 days. And what we've done is created a glorified hiring checklist or labor pool. So where we got in trouble in my business right off the bat is we start to hire the first person through the door with a pulse or sometimes in our instance, half a pulse. Obviously, that did not work out well. Um, but the problem was obviously it wasn't a good fit. So we were looking for people when we needed them um, and it was too late. So we start, started basically creating this virtual bench. So if you've heard of Jonathan Potoshnik of the Lawn Care Millionaire, um, he calls it the virtual bench. Jonathan and I do a lot of these service autopilot regional events and teach this process. And when we did this, this virtual bench is the idea is to go out constantly recruit for each position in the business whether you need it or not. So when you need to grow that that bench or um, or somebody on the field, as I use the analogy of the sports team, if somebody in your service field or out in the, out in the crew's cleaning isn't performing, you've got somebody on the virtual bench to replace them. Um, so it's an easier transition. If you don't, your employees are probably holding you hostage, and at least they did in my business. So we've, we've created that qualified virtual bench. Next process here in the bottom is we once we hire them, we indoctrinate them to a two to three part introduction to company culture. So this is an automated process that goes through your mission, vision, values. And where this came in in our business is that our millennial workforce, really good workers, would barely stick around seven to eight months, especially with the seasonality of lawn care. Uh, we've done this in home cleaning as well in the industry, and it works really well. But the idea was we started to create a culture that they align to outside of a paycheck community service, values. And we were getting a good three to five years out of these guys and girls at workforce versus seven to eight months. Now, some people that weren't a good fit, obviously we didn't care if they left, but the good fit, the culture alignment, they stuck around a good three to five years. Final part of this is we went and did an automated tax document collection. So tax document collection automated and culture training went up to three attempts. After the third and final attempt, let's say Julie didn't fill out her tax docs, a task or a to-do is automatically populated for someone in the office um, that's managing this process, say, hey, Julie didn't fill out her tax docs. Um, you you need, to, need to take a look at this. So I recommend, honestly, firing Julie at this point. Julie at this point. So at this point, we'd fire her here, but we're going to screen them online before they get to you, before the interview, after the interview, before we train them, we actually indoctrinate them and onboard them with some additional testing for timing. So we're not wasting our time training somebody that can't even get their tax documents to get paid. Now, the final part in this green portion is video training. And this was an instrumental part of becoming an absentee owner. And wait till you see the third part of the automations, this will absolutely blow your mind. Um, but basically what happened here is every time we hired a new admin for the office, it revolved around me going in and spending several months or several weeks with this individual to get them trained. So we did as we created 36 visual videos in six modules complete with logic testing. Um, this is what we had built in Service Autopilot, and we still have this. But what it did is from lead acquisition all the way through billing and fulfillment, it trained that admin everything they needed to do. So what we're finding is people using this process now um, in home cleaning or lawn care businesses, their admin using Service Autopilot, which usually is a very long uh, training and onboarding process, within seven to 10 days, they're up and running as proficient as somebody who's been there months, if not years because we go and force them to understand the foundational pieces and how they build upon each other. So good data in, good workflow, good workflow out. Next thing we did is in addition to that, we actually went out into the field and made videos. So we're probably going in and make specific videos of what a top to bottom deluxe cleaning looks like. Are we walking in or we're following maybe the speed cleaning method? We're going from right all the way around the, the room to left from top to bottom. There's certain things we're doing. Um, that regularly maintenance clean, weekly, bi-weekly, or every four weeks, that's a different process because it's not as detailed as the initial clean. But if you went out and created your own videos 
with your equipment and your vacuums and what that looked like, could you imagine the power of having a new admin watching a series of videos before you ever had to train them and they walked in probably three quarters away across the goal line because they understand the methodology, the process. So the idea is to kind of create your own little franchise within your business. And if you ever go to sell your business, you have a turnkey solution or in my instance, we created it so I could be an absentee owner. And then the final piece of that is we automated employee contracts and handbook fulfillment. So what should happen each and every time we bring a new employee in happens without the manager owner having to be there that starting day to babysit the process. So you can see how we're creating an automated system that creates those predictable results. Now, the third and final step of this was task delegation. And specifically, a standardized system that delegates tasks without the business owner being involved. Um, and what we call this process is repetitive tasks. And what I realized is if I wasn't physically there to tell people what to do every day, every week, every month, every quarter, every year, it never happened. And the business, once again, um, I got sucked back in for 25 to 30 employees becoming a full-time babysitter. Um, and obviously, nobody builds a business to be a babysitter. So this was the solution to finally pull my life out of that business and be able to leave for 30 days at pop. And we call this repetitive task. And what we do is we literally take what's in the manager and business owner's head and we delegate and automate. And it's taking and leveraging the power of the software and let it manage the repetitive workflow. Um, and they can be done through seven core functions or divisions in the business. And that's sales, customer service, scheduling, billing, office manager, maintenance, and owner. Yes, even the owner, because we need to hold ourselves accountable for the things we should be doing. So maybe we're still doing sales tax returns or quarterly tax returns or whatever that looks like. We want that accountability to even hold ourselves accountable. Um, so a quick example of this, uh, before we dive into conversational marketing and the next shift that I think every service business owner should be looking at and adopting as soon as possible. Um, if we have a full-time salesperson, and let's say his name is Dave, and his job is to each day finish his estimates and return his sales calls. If Dave doesn't do his job by about 5.15 or 5.30 in the evening, what the automation does is it actually goes out and will text message or email Dave, depending how it's set up, and alert him to like, hey, Dave, you didn't do your job, get it done. And then based on the severity of it, the automation will actually reach out and text message or email the manager, owner of the business. So it pulls a human in to manage the repetitive workflow if what should be happening is not being done through the automated predictable flow. Uh, and we've done this right down to uh, manufacturing video. So if you're changing up filters or parts on vacuums every month or two months, whatever that looks like in your business, you could literally have the manufacturer's video or a YouTube video embedded inside this. Um, instructions with the video, a deadline, and if there's certain parts you're replacing like belts or bristles or anything like that or hoses, you can have the shopping list in there. But the idea is to take what's in your head and delegate it and spread that knowledge across the organization so that business is no longer revolving around you as the business owner and it's all inside the software. And if for some reason that process doesn't happen, it calls you back in to manage it. And this is the third and final automated step um, to take your life back in your business, to create this turnkey lifestyle service business, which we all want. Um, but it took me 20, 20 something years to actually figure this out. Um, so hopefully this was helpful and showed you what can be automated in your business um, literally from today on. So next thing we're diving into is there's two types of sales systems in a business. So it's in your head or it's on autopilot. And in the owner's head, you can't control the hours you work and the chaos that's going on because it's relying on you every day to manage the business, get the estimates and bids out, and maybe even potentially get the work done in the field. So autopilot, standard and easy to delegate. It's gotta be predictable, it's gotta be trainable, it's gotta be scalable without estimating every job and working in each job. And that was one of the biggest hurdles in my business. And I'm not sitting here on a pedestal preaching by any means. Um, by all means, most business owners, including myself, like to get in there and meddle with things in micromanage. And inevitably what happens is we become the bottleneck of growth. And when we can free ourselves, just like Michael Gerber says, we can work on the business, not in the business, or you can be that absentee owner um, and take some time away from the business. But 
the main thing is we've got to get what's out of the business owner's head and get this business on autopilot. And I'm going to show you the ways we can do that and how we can even automate it even more through conversational marketing. So standard production rate, um, rates and sales systems are better because they're not revolving around the owner. So I'm showing you an example we did in our lawn care company. But what we're looking at in a home cleaning company is the same exact thing. Like I said, we were working with a lot of these industry powerhouses uh, in the cleaning industry. So we're going to be basing it in the cleaning industry based off things as um, livable square footage in the home number of maybe small, medium, and large bedrooms, bathrooms, whatever the, the like may be. You may be looking at a, a filth index or a dirt code. So how many people are living in the home? How many pets? How many living areas? Whatever those variables are, we would basically create a standardized production rate estimating system uh, predominantly um, on the home square footage with possibly some variables. In the lawn care industry, we did the same exact thing, but we actually had to go out and measure these lawns and then track the square footage of the service area. Same exact thing and each service had a different production rate. So your weekly cleaning, your bi-weekly and your every four week cleaning are going to have different production rates, how long it should take and how much you're charging and how much profit after that um, based on each one of those services. So the idea now is we're going to standardize this through a somewhat manual process, but predictable process. I'm going to show you how we can actually automate this. Um, but the idea is, if that sounds good to you, is I'm going to show you how we, we take the standardized process of estimating off of um, square footage and things like that number of bathrooms. And if we have those uh, in this manual process, there's usually three distinct parts that happen. So we, we need to go on the left-hand side of the screen and maybe educate them, just like I talked about in the automation part, of the three top things they should be doing that a professional should do. So that's creating that higher perceived value or overcoming the sales or price objection. Then in the middle, we have this estimate. So based on the square footage, it will calculate a price, a budgeted time, and a cost before profit. Um, we may add, be able to add things in underneath. On the bottom is drive time or mobilization, if that's something you need to track but not show the consumer. Maybe you can charge a little less on this side of town, but this side of town, there's a lot more travel, mobilization. So it gives you that granularity. And then the final part is we don't close them over the phone. We've got to physically email out this estimate or bid. It's a great workflow. It's delegatable with a production rate estimate. But what happens when no one is in your office to do that or you're out in the field or it's the weekend? It falls apart. We're forcing them to fill out a form and wait to when we're ready. So the next shift right now is this revolutionary approach to lawn care or home cleaning. And what we're going to do is use automated Facebook pricing bots to do this. So we built this out um, for your weekly cleaning, your bi-weekly cleaning, uh, your top to bottom, uh, move in, move out, post construction. Any of those services that you use in your industry that you have production rates can be automated through an automated Facebook messenger bot. And it's based on your prices on the back end, automated 24 seven. It integrates with Zillow and grabs the livable square footage of the home automatically and sucks it back into the, the bot and calculates the price you should be charging based on your prices. So it's specifically customized to you. Uh, if you're not driving traffic through Facebook, that's okay. If people are hitting your website, we're gonna give you a website slide in, a website widget, a QR code to go on your vehicles or any other swag that you have. And in addition, if you end up going with Simple Growth as a done-for-you model for this Facebook Messenger bot, uh, we're going to cover updates and support via email and Messenger, complete setup of your bot, and optional contact sync with Service Autopilot. So if you are using Service Autopilot, um, this is platform independent. It can take the contacts from Messenger and automatically enter them in to Service Autopilot. And if you're using any of our automations, the sales employer repetitive tasks that I showed you on the screen, it would automatically trigger that process with no human interaction. So a cleaning example, um, I'm going to pop this in here and actually hit place. So you can actually see what this looks like. So as we're looking, this is your potential consumer going in. Um, this is a little demo if you haven't seen it online, uh, but we're going to capture the square footage. We're going to capture their cell phone, their email, all the information, we're going to go out to Zillow and suck in the square footage. And based on your pricing that you put in the back end of Messenger, um, we're going to calculate and close sales live over Messenger for you 24-7. So right now, our person on the screen is clicking get a quote. So this is your potential consumer. 
and it looks like somebody's typing. It says, okay, type in your street address. So we're typing in the address and then it's going to save that information and call Zillow to get the square footage after we get the zip code. So we've entered in the address. Perfect. What's your zip code? So the consumer is going to type in the zip code at this point. Now it's going to look like somebody's typing, but what's actually happening is Facebook Messenger is calling Zillow right now and getting the square footage and then calculating a price for the initial top to bottom and the weekly or bi-weekly or every three week clean, whatever that service is that you're looking for. This is completely automated um, for you. So just scrolling down, we got a little icon of the house here. It's still thinking. It's working with Zillow. Perfect. How often do you want the house clean? Weekly, every other week, three weeks, every four weeks. I clicked in weekly. So now it's going to calculate a price based on your specific pricing model. So your first clean takes a little bit longer to get your house going. Your first top to bottom clean will be $143. And the recurring weekly clean will be $71 based on your address with three bedrooms, three bathrooms. Obviously, the pricing is fictitious, but it would be based on your pricing. So you get an idea of the workflow and the power of this. Perfect. Let me grab your cell phone number. Let me grab your email. If they registered with Facebook with this, it would automatically be in there and they can override it. Basically, at this point, they hit accept. They want to sign up. And then it will email and text message your new consumer to let them know that we've confirmed it. We've got their data. If you use the sync with QuickBooks, it automatic, or I mean the, the sync with service autopilot, which is optional, it pushes them in the service autopilot and triggers that automated conversation through um, the welcome and wow and the upsell if it's a one time to reoccurring. Now, it's an additional product that we sell, and I'm not looking to sell that on this webinar. But I will tell you that that will drive into that. Um, but if you're looking to automate your own business, those three areas um, to the hood to tell you how to do it yourself. Now, if you need some help with that, obviously, let me know and we can have that conversation. But this this webinar is about conversational marketing and how buying habits have changed. And if we aren't adopting to it now, somebody in our, our market is going to. So if you want to be on the bleeding edge of this, just like I was with automations and lifecycle marketing six or seven years ago, believe it or not, this is the next shift, in my opinion, um, that's going to pay big, big dividends. And you're going to be ahead of the game. So four ways to utilize the automated estimates tool on Facebook, your website, and your vehicles. Um, so like I said before, if you're not driving traffic through Facebook right now, as far as paid ads or organic, that's okay. As long as you got traffic coming in to your website. But what this is going to do is lay the foundations to start building that social relevancy on social media in doubling down and making it even better. Um, so the top three there are for your website. That's what Simple Growth provides to you if you end up going with this special offer that we have. Um, and then underneath it, we've got the ability through Facebook Messenger. So we're gonna go in and automate all of your services. So we've got our top to bottom cleaning, our weekly cleaning, bi-weekly every four weeks, deep clean, move in, move out, post-construction and general cleaning. Um, so we've got several options here. So um, I will tell you that we are going to make a special offer right now. So if you don't want a sales pitch for about 30 seconds with the ability to save um, at least $250, hop off. But otherwise, I'm hopping in uh, with full disclosure. And this is what we've got going on. So on this webinar, special only, if you sign up while you're here, um, we are able to get you this deal. And I'll explain the pricing here for you in just a second as I, as I spread this out here. So... What's happening here is we've got up to three automated bots, so up to, up to three automated services. We normally charge $9.99 to set that up. Uh, but for this special offer, if you sign up on this webinar, uh, we are cutting that down by $250, bucks, so one-time setup fee of $749, and a monthly support and update fee, which includes your Zillow integration of $99 a month support and updates the Simple Growth team. If you want to do between four and 10 automated services, we traditionally still charge that $9.99 setup. But one time offer while you're here is $7.49. And we charge $1.99 a month for support and update fees. The service autopilot sync. If you use service autopilot and you want that automated sync from the bot automatically in the service autopilot with no double entry, we traditionally charge $99 one time setup fee. We're waiving that. So Technically, you can actually go in and save $349 if you have the sync with this webinar special. We charge an additional $29.97 for that monthly update and support fee. So I've got some time here. 
Um, on your screen here, let me know if you can see it. There should be an offer where you can click on the sign up now button and um, sign up for it live in this webinar. But if anybody has any questions about anything I talked about, the bots, how it happens, um, I've got some time here before I go out um, and do another webinar uh, specifically for the lawn care industry, but I wanted to make this specific to the cleaning industry and what we've done specifically for cleaning because it is somewhat similar, but it is definitely different. So I want to be particularly to your industry and after learning from the powerhouses in your industry, we've made this customized to your industry um, and it's going to give you the advantage over your competitor for that technology shift. So, um, so it will automatically pull. So we got one question here. So the automatically, uh, the, so we'll automatically pull the leads into service autopilot. Kate, yes, absolutely. So when they're in the bot, when they convert into a client, it automatically sucks them in or after a predetermined set of time, if we have enough information through the bot, depending how far they go, it will suck them in and drive them into service autopilot. And if you are using our automations already, um, it'll automatically trigger our automations to the sales process and drive that down the line. Uh, Kate, great. Uh, this shows first time clean price and reoccurring price. Yes, correct, Kate. So uh, we may want to put a little verbiage in there that this price may be approximate with human confirmation, or if you're comfortable with based on the Zillow price, we can just make sure it's a set price, but you would have your uh, original initial clean, your top to bottom or top to bottom deluxe, whatever you call it, and your weekly, bi-weekly, or every three or four week clean in there. Um, so that absolutely does that. If you're using Service Autopilot, it takes everything from Messenger and drives it right into Service Autopilot, no double entry. But that is the additional um, cost of the $29.97 for the monthly sync support. But we're waiving the $100 setup fee for the sync uh, on this webinar only. So we've got uh, quite a few people here still online. So I'm gonna hang out for a few if anybody has questions. Um, and leave that special offer on the bottom of the screen. So if anybody wants to click on that, um, it's there. But this is um, special and inherent just to this webinar. So after the webinar, I'm going to be shutting down the uh, promotional prices. And by the time you log in tomorrow morning, those prices will be gone. They will be back up to the, the $9.99 one-time setup fee. So if you want to save $250 bucks, um, on the original setup, and if you're doing the sync for service autopilot it takes everybody from messenger into faith into service autopilot um we're going to waive an additional hundred dollars setup fee so potentially if you're going all in you can save about uh 349 dollars today for this one-time special for being an early adopter and i figured it's just right because we're all busy as business owners so i want to reward you for taking a little time out of your day and working on your business and not in it and going out and out learning and out adapting your competitors. So I will tell you a little story here is some of these people looks like they're typing um, in here is Facebook Messenger bots is something we did in the lawn care company. Um, that Bill Murray example is actually what we used for the lawn this summer. And in the winter, we had a snow plowing uh, version of this. Um, Kate, really excited as well. But, but what actually happened is, is my competition had no idea what we were doing. So I was in a local pub a, a few years ago. We've been doing this about three years now. Um, basically what happened is a gentleman came up to me and said, uh, Hey, you're Mike with uh, Callahan's lawn care. Absolutely. I shook his hand. Um, and he, he was pretty frustrated. And, and I said, you know, what's, what's the problem? He goes, well, you, you, you took five or six of my clients in this neighborhood, another 10 or 15 in this neighborhood. And it was interesting, um, that he didn't realize that this could be done through automations and some different things that we tied in, but we were systematically upselling to the neighbors around the new clients we had. And people were seeing our trucks and being able to click on the, the website and hit the messenger bots and get automatic live pricing. And we we're creating a higher perceived value to our price. Even if we were more expensive, it didn't matter. We we're in the ballpark. But what this gentleman said, he goes, well, I think that you've been following my trucks. And when we leave, you or some of your companies knocking on the doors and stealing our accounts. But what he couldn't realize is we adopted to the technology shift on the bleeding edge well before anybody had a clue. And honestly, most people in the service industry right now have no idea this technology is out and you're not how to apply it. If you had a Facebook messenger, it's literally defaulted. What are your hours? Where are you located? Maybe what are your services when you type in? Um, and I've, I've done this in 12 or 15 different um, places in my market here in Rochester, New York, and not one of them responded within 24 hours. You have a competitive advantage because if you hit a website and you don't see what you want, you're gonna continue to go to the next place that has it. 
why not be that person? And what happens is when we take them from Facebook Messenger and drive them into your CRM, um, we go in and systematically nurture and upsell and follow up on that estimate. And 80% of all sales are traditionally sold on five or more contacts. So whoever shows up to the game consistently wins, but this gets them off the street. They've committed to a price. And if they haven't, at least we've gotten their lead acquisition uh, and information and we can drop them into a nurture via text and email and potentially phone calls if you want to get that aggressive. So this is a shift. This is where it's going. And just to finish my story here uh, before we get these last questions is that um, basically the gentleman was convinced that I was stealing his accounts by following his trucks. Uh, the guy ended up actually punching me in the face. Um, in, in the pure disbelief, I wasn't even about to defend myself. I literally stopped and asked him, do you really think we've been following your trucks? He goes, well, that's the only physical way that you could be competing and taking my clients. So think differently than your competitors. Go out, adopt technology, continue to evolve, out, learn your customers, out, adopt. And I will guarantee you, this will change the way you do business, being ahead of that next technology shift. So um, we didn't get everything right by any means. Like I said, not on a pedestal. Uh, we got lucky enough to get some of these things right and some of the things we didn't get right. So you're learning from what we got lucky enough and some of the things we had to continue to tweak and define and starting doing analytics with AB split test marketing to make sure that we had sales that converted. So um, if this is something you want before I wrap it up here, I'll leave this open for a few minute, more minutes in case there's any questions. Um, but th this link will be live here by the end, by the end of the day, um, as you're clicking on it here. And after that in the morning, uh, it will be back to the normal price. So if you're looking to save between uh, $250 to $350 uh, to be a first adopter in this, click that link, sign up. And uh, as in typical fashion, we're actually part of the onboarding process is automated. Um, and another just a, a basic disclaimer, and I don't think this will sway anybody on here. It looks like on my other screen here, I can actually see people are actually buying this thing right now. Um, but uh, you will be, there will be an additional product that you need to tie into this um, that we walk you through the process. Uh, but basically you would be uh, buying a premium subscription to ManyChat. It's $10 a month. And that's the plugin that ties in the back end of Messenger that we would manage and set up for you. You'd have access to it as well. So uh, any more comments or questions here? I'm going to leave this open for another two to three minutes. And um, hopefully this was a value. Even if we don't work together, um, those are the three steps in my business to take my life back to create a scalable, predictable, automated system um, that eventually was able to be acquired for top dollar uh, by an international firm that started the acquisition process. So uh, just announced it a bit ago at, at Service Auto Pilots Conference through an interview, but uh, the, the lawn care company wasn't for sale, but it actually did get acquired last November, December, uh, a company uh, out of out of Canada, international uh, company saw all the Facebook and YouTube videos that we do for some part of just showing people how we do what we do, but they wanted to know if it was smoke and mirrors or if that was a, an automated scalable business. And when they called, I actually hung up on them. I thought it was my buddy Garrett. And uh, lo and behold, they called back. It wasn't Garrett, but um, you know, they, they said, is it real? And yeah, it's absolutely real. We'll show you what it's about. Maybe other businesses you're buying would want the system. Um, so they offered us a decent amount of money off the bat. And I said, listen, uh, it's, it's not for sale. But after several months of communicating and coming back, um, the old adage, adage that uh, everything's for sale for the right price um, actually happened. So this system is not only scalable um, to get your life back and create a predictable system to a million and well beyond, um, but if you're looking to ever sell your business or retire, it creates a value um, that it, it's just as good as a retirement account. So there is some value. So whether we don't work, we work together or not, I will tell you, originally we did all these things manually and then we automated them step by step. Um, so those first three screens are the, are the main three packages that service auto, or that we have as a done for you package and service autopilot specifically for the cleaning industry. Those packages come with um, about 130 to 140 marketing documents pre-built with vanilla content that you customize and it's completely done for you supported system outside of the messenger bot. So. Um, if that's something you're interested in too, you know, click the message uh, thing here. Christine and Tammy in my office should be monitoring this as well. And they will reach out to you, get you on my calendar. But otherwise, if you're looking to adopt, see that technology shift uh, with conversational marketing. Click the button below here. I'm going to leave this open another minute or two. Um, and like I said, by um, tomorrow morning, uh, those prices will be back to normal. But I did want to pay it forward for you taking 45 minutes to an hour of your time today. Um,